Today we are joined by David Farland, one of my favorite authors. All right, so first, Dave, let's talk about your books because okay. that's a huge part of, of what you do. Right. So in addition to teaching, which this, this book right here, uh, Million Dollar Book Signings, Dave is one of these people that has mastered book signings for authors. And if you are someone that's interested in being an author, this is a book you're definitely going to want to get. But let's talk about, let's look at this sure. book that you have right here because this uh, Rune Lord series mm -hmm. is huge. So tell me tell me a little bit more about the Rune Lord series. Well, the Rune Lord series is uh, set in an alternate world where people can uh, transfer attributes from one person to another. And uh, so the lords in the land can have, can take your beauty, your strength, your speed, uh, things like that. And so they become more and more powerful while their people become weaker and weaker. Wow. And the story's about a young man who really hates this system of government where he's a conscious objector to his own magic system, I guess is the best way to say it. Awesome. But he soon finds himself in a battle with a powerful lord for control of the earth, okay? I guess that's basically the easy way to explain it. It's a big, <laughs> massive series. Um, I've written eight novels in the series. I'm writing the final novel now. Oh, you are. And I'm so a thousand is that pages come? into Ooh, it. Yes, a so. thousand pages. How yes. long do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be thirteen or 1,400 pages. So wow. it's a big fantasy novel. Um, we'll see what my publisher thinks when they see it. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I guess you're still writing it, so we don't know yet if it's 2019, 2020. I don't know yet, no. Okay. Um, I'll turn it in and we'll see when they get it scheduled. Awesome. Yeah. So in addition to books, you help in movies, Mm -hmm. Video games. Yeah. Tell me a little more. Okay. Well, I uh, I started writing in video games back in 1997. My first video game was called StarCraft Brood War, which became the third best selling video game of all time when it came out. Uh, it's still used in the final rounds of the World Championship video game competitions in wow. China and Korea now. Wow. Uh, so uh, that was one of my first ones, but I've uh, I've I scripted a few others along the way. Um, I've worked a bit in film, worked as a green lighting analyst in Hollywood. Uh, so so for, the, for our viewers that don't know, what is a green lighting analyst? A green lighting analyst is someone who looks at a screenplay, figures out how much it will cost to make the movie, how much it's going to make at the box office, tells you how to make more money with it, and we use uh, some complex uh, systems to analyze the film and uh, figure out what it's going to make. Uh, it's a pretty expensive process and it's usually done by larger producers or directors or banks that want to look at funding a project. Yeah, wow, mm -hmm. that, that does sound <laughs> yeah. anyway, kind of big. Cool. So I do that. Um, I, I also train a lot of other authors. Uh, some of my authors include people like uh, Stephanie Meyer uh, with what, the Twilight. Wasn't she um, one of your students she when was, you were teaching in college, yes, right? Yes, I was teaching college creative writing at Brigham Young University and Brandon Sanderson was uh, there at the same time he's uh, huge Dan Wells um, Brandon Mull was one of my students that I picked up at a conference wow. um, I helped uh, JK Rowling get Harry Potter turned into a big book at one time uh, back when I was working writing for Scholastic so I was doing some wow. Star Wars no Star Wars novels for Scholastic and they asked me to help out uh, find somebody for them and so you know just different things like that that's incredible and and for our viewers that are interested in being writers, you do writing retreats now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Tell me a little yeah. more about those. Well, I do a lot of writing retreats. There's two basic ones that I do. One of them is teaching you how to plot a novel so that it'll be a bestseller. Okay, I don't want to help you write a novel that's not going to make you any money. And then the other one that I do is teaching you how to basically um, cause your reader to relax into your book so much so that they are sort of hypnotized by what's going on. It's called writing and chatting prose and uh, and it's using a bunch of different techniques to help you grab control of a reader's imagination and hold it through the course of your book. Wow, that's great. So, um, and I mentioned this earlier, but so I, I've known Dave, like I said, a long time and he's phenomenal and you should really check out his writing retreats and mm -hmm. then if you are already an author and you want to know more about the book signing world definitely see this you have that children's um, series of mice and magic mm -hmm. as well yeah. and so you've been all over the board with it now for them that want to come and learn more about you mm -hmm. uh, what's your website my website is mystorydoctor.com awesome. okay so mystorydoctor.com all one word 
Okay, great. And they can find out about your books there as well? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. And again, I'm Melissa with The Book Break, and we'll see you next time. Becoming an author can open more doors than you can possibly imagine. I've seen amazing opportunities come to writers and business owners once their books were published. It can explode your credibility and expand your audience and clientele across the globe. And it can pave the way for future book deals or land you a spot on the bestseller lists. But to get those results, you have to go beyond just grabbing your reader's attention. You have to lock onto their emotions and deliver a transformative experience. I'm Angela Eschler, the founder of Eschler Editing, and we know what it takes to get there. Whether you're a busy professional who needs help finishing that book to support your platform, or you've been dreaming of seeing that novel on the shelf since third grade, you want your book to be powerful, to be read, and to make an impact. And at Eschler Editing, that's what we do. Whether for your family, to build your business, or to share your creativity and talents with the world, your book is your legacy. It's worth investing in. Here are the two most critical ways we can support your goals. One, we can help you make that emotional impact on the reader. Whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction, readers won't respond to your work unless you engage their emotions, alter their worldviews a little. If you want to build a thriving fan base, to change lives, or to attract ideal clients, your book has to resonate on a deeper level. Professional editors can go well beyond fixing your grammar, punctuation, and spelling. In addition to helping you capture your authentic voice, we can make sure your stories and ideas are compelling to deliver an experience for your reader. It doesn't matter if you're writing about socks or sci-fi. On some level, you've got to make that emotional impact. The second thing we bring to the table is an in-depth understanding of the publishing industry so we can help you choose the best path to reaching your ideal readers. This means we understand the real pros and cons of self-publishing versus traditional avenues. We can guide you from A to Z in self-publishing and help you avoid those newbie mistakes. Or, if you're hoping to snag an agent and traditional publisher, we know what they want and can steer you in the right direction. And we have industry connections and guidance to help you effectively market once your book is out there. Plus, we'll hold your hand through the whole process. The short and long of it? An experienced editor is your number one advocate for ensuring your book is ready for the world. I wrote What the Single Eye Sees actually as individual talks or sermons that I gave in sacrament meeting and every time I gave one of those talks I had lots of people ask me for copies. It got to the point where I was sending out dozens of copies of the talks to people and I thought maybe I should organize them into a book so they'd have be accessible by, some, by more people. The principal focus of the book is, as it's stated in the subtitle is faith, hope, charity and the pursuit of discipleship. And so I hope people who read the book feel like they have a better understanding of the relationships that are what are faith, hope, and charity. One of the key principles outlined in the fourth section of the Doctrine and Covenants for discipleship is to have your eyes single to the glory of God. That's a New Testament concept that Joseph Smith felt inspired to include. I hope you enjoy it. You can find it at barnesandnoble.com or amazon.com.